Welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. And today we're going to do another product review video with regards to the TechNet Level 2 32 amp EV charging cable. We're gonna show you guys the unboxing, talk about the product itself, the main unit, and show you guys how it works when we drop the app on our phone and how it plugs into our 2025 Volvo XC40, okay? Now, let's go ahead and dive in. It is October here, and the price on this exact product is around $230 when we're making this video. And if you guys wanna save yourself some money and you're gonna end up buying this TechNet, use our coupon code in the description below and save your guys yourself some money when you're buying this product, okay? So let's dive in. I made a few notes so I don't forget certain things that I wanted to mention because there are a few things that um, are important and that are super cool with regards to this cable. But starting with the unboxing, we're gonna get a cardboard box in the mail because that's how they're gonna ship it. You get a portable case. We also get the NEMA 1450 adapter over to the 110 plug for your house plug. We get two brackets, one bracket to actually mount on to the wall, whether it's on the outside or indoor of your wall, and that's how it's going to sit, okay? And another bracket to actually the hold the cable in place on that wall, okay? So you can be mounting. You get some hardware there for the mounting brackets, all right, and some anchors with that hardware. And then we got the main 32 volt unit, the TechNet. We're gonna show you guys how the LCD screen and the uh, control unit will work. We have a J1772 plug. That is universal with all cars other than Tesla. If you do have a Tesla, all you do need is an adapter, okay? And when I say all cars, I mean like Ford, GM, Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, and so much more, et cetera, okay? So let's go ahead and go through my little list that I made so we don't forget anything. Some features that this product does have, it does come dual voltage compatibility. You also get adjustable settings, so you can adjust the 32 volts if you wanna drop the volts while charging, so you can go 10, 16, 24, or 32. You also have an automatic restart system when your power goes out. So let's say your house power goes out and you go and jump those breakers again. Um, it actually restarts automatically, so you don't have to worry about that as well. Cable length is about 25 feet long cable. It can actually fit probably on the both sides of the garage bay. And in the European um, number, it is a 7.6 meter cable length, okay? Maximum power, 7.6 kilowatts. We get FCC and ETL certified, so that's very important. It does, uh, able to use on GFCI breakers. You get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality. Also, you can do scheduled charging, and we're gonna show you guys that in a little bit. We're going to show you how the operate Operating temperatures will show you the negative uh, 30 degrees Celsius over to 50 degrees Celsius, which is negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit over to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is very um, a, a product that is very good in multiple uh, different types of environments, right? If you have it in outdoor and you have it up on your stuck, stucco wall, okay? Or your um, siding or whatever you have on your house. And again, I did mention that it is suitable with multiple cars. Now let's go ahead and go through some other things I wanted to mention in our manual. All right, now the model number itself is a TKEC001 or 002. What are things that I wanted to mention to you guys? You're gonna have a specification sheet on your manual, so don't get scared, but it's going to uh, help you out and show you guys the numbers, the voltage, the frequency, the current, and so forth, working humidity and whatnot. We're gonna drop a picture for that as well. And it does have multiple protection, and I'm gonna mention that to you guys real quick. It's a over and under voltage protection. You get an over and under frequency protection. You get an over temperature protection, over current protection, current leakage, and grounding protection, okay? Now let's go ahead plug this unit in and show you guys how it is when it turns on and how we're gonna download it to our phone. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in into the 1450 NEMA plug, the big one. Plug that in, your LCD screen is gonna turn on, control unit's turning on with that uh, LED light. And we're gonna go ahead and install it using our Bluetooth and Wi-Fi functionality. We have a QR code in the owner's manual. We're gonna come over and scan it, click the link, very easy compatibility, uh, 
consumer friendly. We're going to download the app. It doesn't charge you, okay? It might say that it's in apps. It might charge you, but it's not charging you. We're going to receive the app. Allow notifications. Allow alerts. Agree. We're going to try as a guest because it's just a uh, video that we're going to show you guys. We get no devices. We can go up here and add a device. You're not authorized. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to close the app because I already had the app uh, installed and we're going to toss it. There it goes. Add the device. It's going to say, got it. Add it. It's going to ask you for permission. Allow once. Bluetooth, yes. Okay, it shows up there. We're going to click that. It's going to ask you for your password. Can't show you guys that. We're going to get a little loading bar there. And it opens us up to the app. Now, I'm going to show you guys a real quick uh, go through. We can go ahead, waiting for a power on delaying, and we can go ahead and plug it in and start the app by start the charging by swiping right. Charging mode, we could do delayed charging. Length of time, remember I told you guys that it has the option of actually uh, setting your charging time, okay? And we could do four hours and so forth. We could also do, I mean, we could also see the voltage, the current ampage, and the power kilowatt. But another cool thing is, is if we go over to record, that little icon down there, and you get a charging record and the power. So day, month, year, and daily electricity, your zero kilowatts used on what day, what hour, and so forth. And so much more if you guys do happen to get this product and go through it. So let's go ahead and show you guys real quick how it looks like when it's plugged in onto the XC40. Now let's go ahead and show you guys how to charge it. Very easy, simple, straight to the point. We have the XC40 recharge here and it's gonna show you there very clear and dumb proof. We're gonna remove the charger from the charging port station and look how professional that is, very cool. Press the button, we're gonna go ahead and push it in. You hear a clip, light turns green. You're gonna see here on the little LCD screen that we, we increased the 32 amp on the car and I'm gonna show you guys that a little bit for our um, overall our overall limit on the car should come up to about 32 amps. And it shows you that the time starts going, how long that this is being charged. And it's slowly gonna start inputting, the ampage is gonna going to grow, okay? Now let's go ahead in the car, go, go in the car and show you guys. Okay, so we have our charging limit here. So I increased it to 40 just to make sure shows you 13%. You can set the timer on this Volvo as well. If we go ahead and look at our cluster, it shows that your time will complete at 7.38 p.m. Battery level 13% is charging speed at about 19 miles per hour if you're at home using this 32 amp. Now, thank you guys so much for watching our video with regards to the installation and talking about this product. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember, save your guys yourself some money using our coupon code in the description below, guys. Check out our other videos with regards to other products. We appreciate you guys watching Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. Thank you, and God bless you.